Glad you're here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, home of the Reds since 2003. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Cincinnati Reds. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby, and a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect, the home side taking care of business in game one, but this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games, or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. One gone runner at first. Digging in, Steve Rogers. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, hey, anyone? See you driving right back at the pitcher, huh, now? Lace to right go. center, base hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Rolando Butler. Batting four. And a 1-1. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Right hander kicks deals. And it's fouled away. Let's go now, one time. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. That's a really good take. Hill on third, Rogers at second with one away. a base hit one run across another scores two runs in on the play it's two nothing a perfect example right there that plate discipline it pays off the deeper he gets into a count the more comfortable he becomes and he usually wins the battle back here in Cincinnati new inning getting started and now for the twins Terrell Burnett the second baseman. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Out to short. Throws the first. Yeah. One up, one down. Now that you got to be kidding me. Did you see that throw? Not really, Boog. I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed, but thankfully StatCast is here to help us out. I mean, you don't see many throws across the infield that get up into the 90s, so he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. So two away with nobody on. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Roberto Campos. He's 0 for 1. Out to short, Rogers over to pick it up. Tosses to first, out number three. Twins are set down one, two, three. They trail it here, two nothing. And now, Steve Rogers. One for one with a double and a run score. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Now fly ball to right center. Labor makes his way towards it. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there are now two outs. The designated hitter, Rolando. 
Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the Twins catcher, Ken Pennick. The catcher. Ken Pennick. And now the 0 1. On the ground to the left. Over to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good exit. Now it's going to be Franklin Labour. On the ground. Rogers collects it. Whips it to first. And the inning is over. Nothing doing here for the Twins. They trail things here to nothing. Steve Rogers now at the plate. One for two. How about it? He is Good quite stop. an athlete. Hmm. I mean, you look around the other sports, Roger. basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Let's fly. Let's go right here. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. A three-run homer, and they throw three on the board. It's five zip. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Pitcher tried to intimidate with that fastball up and in, but he was ready for it. Pulled the trigger, and man, explosive through the zone right there. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. In now for the Reds, Steve Rogers. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. That one ripped. That's back. Up against the wall and brings it in. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to... Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that clearly could have gone either way, and that's kind of exactly what you expect out of postseason baseball. So competitive. 6-5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.